Here's the deal. I need to make a big chart and use photos and drawings. Anything I can find. Drawings? What on earth for? To illustrate the life cycle of a pond creature. You are a pond creature, right? The life cycle of a pond creature? I most certainly am not. Come on, Your Highness. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I just need a couple of shots from a few different angles. We'll find a few tadpoles and pretend they're your babies, and it's all over. This is just too humiliating. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, all right. Let's get it over with, then. Cheese! Uh, Your Highness, I think you're gonna have to lose the wig. What? You mean you expect me to pose bald? Well, Miss Tinker isn't gonna understand why a toad is wearing a wig. Just who do you think I am? Hmm. Your Highness! You don't have to be like that! Where are you going? Unlike you, Tom, I have a life. I have a job where I get to earn real money for sitting around doing absolutely nothing. What's Cindy talking about? Oh, she just got a job babysitting. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, I made some fairy hair dye, but I put in a flying ingredient by mistake. <laughs> Did you see a bottle of purple shampoo on the hall table? <laughs> you must be Cindy. Come in. <laughs> Her feeding time is at six, dinner's in the pot, and then bath time and bed. It's very straightforward. And she just loves her bath, don't you, Angel? Or she never ever goes to sleep without her bath. <laughs> and there are snacks and DVDs. We won't be late. Don't worry about a thing. We'll be just fine. Are you tired of your talents going unnoticed? Would you like a shot of fame? Then hurry up and enter Talent Truck. A chance for us to track your talent. <laughs> 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 Babies are a combination I would love to see. <laughs> Sorry, no can do. I've got a huge homework assignment for the morning, so I can't help you out. <laughs> Tony cannot leave me here like this. You might never see me alive again. Okay, I get full and complete control of the remote for ten days. Five. Seven. Okay, deal. Hey, and don't forget to bring the wand. I think we're gonna need it. <laughs> we 
wait for me. This I don't want to miss. Ew, you look like something Willow tried to cook uh, without the wand. I mean, very nice. Uh, uh, nice colors. <laughs> She'll chew anything. In fact, I've never seen anything like it. Cindy, use the wand. I think she's teething. Something for teeth. Treat for baby's teeth. <laughs> Shouldn't those things be kept in cages? <laughs> Why can't we just use the wand to put her to sleep? Because I think it's dangerous to use magic like that on a baby. I have a splitting headache. Give her your leg to chew on. She seems to enjoy that. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Cindy, this works. Do it. Peekaboo. Peekaboo! 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 I think we have to take a break from Peekaboo now. See? That's what she does every time she doesn't get what she wants. <sighs> Peekaboo, 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 Now she wants to dance. so she can start screaming again. No, really, look! Come on, uh, let's lift her up very slowly so she doesn't wake up. I told you! She's gonna scream us to death! Counting sheep put baby to sleep! Monster immobilized. Sleeping like a baby. Better leave the sheep here in case she wakes up again. After the pain, the pleasure. 
See what a good job this is? 500 channels, gourmet snacks, and I get paid for it. I think you might owe me half of your first paycheck. You've got to be kidding. No way! Yes way! And that remote control is mine, remember? If you think you're getting the remote control and some of my pay, you're out of line, buddy. Well, I have a witness. Your Highness, you were there when I struck the deal, weren't you? Your Highness? Uh, nope, not here either. I can't understand where he might have... Huh? <laughs> Cindy! Huh? Shush! You'll wake her again! <gasps> where is she? <laughs> she made herself grow big! <laughs> oh no, she has the wand! Squeak! I, I can't even quack! <laughs> Hold on, Your Highness! We're coming in! <laughs> you didn't honestly think that was gonna work, did ya? My whole life flashed before. <gasps> Abracadabra, open sesame and all that jazz! See? Everyone knows that spell. <laughs> Your Highness! <laughs> what have you done to him? That's it. You're going back to baby size. <laughs> She's probably eaten him! <laughs> Wait! If you shrink her back, you'll shrink his highness too! To the size of nothing! She's chewing something! Nummy! Ugh. Eaten by a giant baby? What a gruesome end! Oh, we can't just do nothing. There might still be a way to save him. We can use the wand as an x-ray. Stand back! Not there. Oh no! She must have chewed him up totally! There's my lipstick! Cough it up! <laughs> Cindy! Get with the program! His harness is missing and presumed eaten. But she only has two teeth. She couldn't have chewed him that well. He 
was screaming a minute ago. Hmm, you have a point. But he's not any place else. Hmm? Bye bye. <gasps> where is the froggy? Tell me where the froggy is. Froggy squeak. Froggy squeak. No froggies don't squeak. They rib it. Oh, what am I doing trying to interrogate a baby? First off, you're going back to your proper size. Go get his highness. <laughs> I don't believe this. It's the first time the wand has ever refused to do something. Could you blame it? It's gross. Gross! Gross! Your Highness? <sighs> I have to go down there. I can't just leave him to his fate in the city sewers. What do you mean, go down there? You mean in a diving suit? That's a great idea, Cindy. Keep talking to him. Tell him to hang in there. Your Highness, are you there? It's not so bad, you know. You might need a nice girl toad down there. Hmm. Your mom has good taste in nail polish. <laughs> you are officially a nutcase. And how do you think you're gonna fit down the toilet? I've thought of that. You have to shrink me. Shrink you? With the wand! Well, if that's what you want to do, all the more TV control time for me. But you'll probably be eaten by a rat. Okay, it's your funeral. If that's what he thinks, make him shrink. Okay, lift me onto the toilet seat. This is so gross. Are you really going to do this? What a way to go. Oh well, might as well wash my hair. <laughs> Oops, that looks like one of Mom's weirdo potions. sure you'd never come back. Don't sound too traumatized. Quick, change me back! Small snowball, back to big! No sign of his highness? No, couldn't see anything down there. You pick a time like this to wash your hair? Well, I'm in the bathroom hanging around. I might as well make use of my tech. <gasps> Shampoo. Tom, you saved my life. Someday I will make you a knight. How about a photo for the school project instead? Oh, cheese. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there she is. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get her. Cindy, the wand! She has to stop floating! Oh, okay. Baby, way up in the sky, come on down, don't be shy! <laughs> no! Love 
levitates a little? <laughs> it's because I taught her how to meditate. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible! Would you be available to babysit again next week? We didn't even pay her. Hmm, she must be in a terrible hurry. How is my little angel? Were you as good as gold? <laughs> Feeling, Highness. Work it! Come on, Mom. Why don't you just buy your shampoo? Cousin Mildred is coming to visit us today with her triplets. They're adorable babies. You'll take good care of them, okay? <laughs> what? Babies? <laughs> Were so tall, or that you spoke Italian. <laughs> I am so impressed. Speak to me, Tom. Mm -hmm. Why talk when we can dance? Go! Oh! That's very sweet, Tom. I do like to dance, but this is Italian class. No wonder you're falling behind. Are you sitting on your book? <laughs> yes, Miss Tinker. <laughs> I think we'll have to get you a smaller desk and some extra Italian lessons. See? <sighs> what am I worrying about? Kids say dumb things in class every day. Who's going to remember? <laughs> Why? What are you going to do? Make me look like a fool in front of my teacher and the whole class? Actually, I was only going to tell Mom. But your idea sounds so much better. Well, you're too late. I already did it, and they're still laughing at me. Well, I'm not going to laugh. Tell me all about it. I sort of, kind of, asked Miss Tinker to dance. <laughs> <laughs> you, you asked your teacher to dance? <laughs> I didn't mean to! It was an accident! I just think she's... <sighs> sorta nice. All right, Tom, calm down. There's no point in going to pieces over some silly little crutch. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, would you mind staying out of the kitchen? I asked this older kid at school to help me with my Italian lessons. His name is Lorenzo or something. <laughs> You really came all the way from Italy? Could you speak some Italian for us? Si. Oh. You think you could teach me Italian? Uh, no, I don't think that's such a good idea. He wants to be just like Lorenzo. That is so cute. Uh, sure, kid. Why not? He is so giving. Lorenzo? Here? Unbelievable! Let me guess. You think he's sort of nice. If you wanted to look even more Italian, just do that. I don't want to look Italian. I want to speak Italian. What? Oh. Lorenzo, the new kid from school, who just arrived from Italy, here in my kitchen? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, or should I say, hola? <laughs> <laughs> 
Isn't that Spanish? Is it? <laughs> Sauna glasses. Get to them every time. <laughs> I should see what's wrong. Sometimes a young girl needs her father. Uh, maybe I should go. It could call for some sensitivity and, well, you're an ogre. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh... <laughs> right. Hello, Cindy dear. It's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, your sister needs you. Me? Hey, sis! Go away! Where are you going? I made a total fool of myself. Lorenzo is the dreamiest boy in class. I really can't help it if I need a charming prince. It's not your fault. It's because we're from fairy tale land. Just my luck. I can't believe my ears. You're talking like being from fairy tale land is a bad thing. Don't you realize it's the answer to all your problems? It is? How? Meet me at the top of the stairs on the morrow when the bells toll one and twicely times three. Why can't he just say before school tomorrow? <laughs> Everybody here? Good. First, you must gain possession of the good fairy code book and the enchanted wand of magic from the fairy's chamber. You mean Mom's room? Uh, yes. But within the chamber lies a sleeping ogre. You mean Dad, right? Will you just get the stuff? Uh, 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 <laughs> Charming spell. Every girl who sees you will be crazy about you. Me? Oh, yes. Every girl except, of course, Cindy. Lorenzo won't be Mr. Popular anymore. You mean he'll be so desperate, he'll have to ask me out? <laughs> exactly. I love it. Oh, no. I'm not getting zapped for that. Fine. My mistake. Just thought you'd like to try being tall for a day. I'd be tall? Very. Can I be a fireman too? One wish at a time. Okay. Zap me. Alakazim and then Alakazam. Make Tom a dashing, charming young man at least until 12 o'clock tomorrow. What's wrong? Who knows? Ugh. These things never work the way you want them to in the real world. If I could just... Oops. Uh-oh! I can't control it! How does Willow manage to use this thing? Mom, are you okay? Big. 
Can't you be any quieter? What if somebody sees you? Ouch! What's going on? I'm trying to sleep up here! Did I hear screaming? Oops. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> this is Mr. Charming. He's just calling door to door to see if we want to buy any... Uh, uh toads. Uh, but I see you've already got one. Uh, sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> What's your hurry, toad man? Have we met before? Uh, no. <sighs> okay, sorry to waste your time, Mr. Charming. I'm on my way to school. Uh, why don't I show you the gate? Nice to meet you, Mom. <laughs> Did, Did he, he say, say Mom? Mom? Nah. Hey, muscles! I'm in the book! Call me! Ew. You can't go into class looking like that! But what about Miss Tinker? I'll tell Miss Tinker you're gonna be late because you're feeling weird. I guess that's true. I'll see you later in the school cafeteria. Now go hide out in the bathroom until first break. That's hours away. What am I supposed to do in the bathroom until then? <gasps> oh. Oh. He's so cute. <laughs> 72. Still two hours to go. 73. 74. Hey! Wash your hands! Huh? Spaghetti. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. Oh. Hi, Cindy. Want to join us? I can't. I'm waiting for my... <laughs> Someone should tell this guy he's not as cool as he thinks he is. Yeah, I'll tell him. No, I'll tell him. No, me! No, me! <laughs> Chocolate. Spaghetti. Gorgonzola. Mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Milk? <laughs> um, milky coffee? <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody calls me Bobby. Bobby Sinclair. <laughs> Where are you from? How long are you staying? <laughs> Slow down, ladies. Gotta get my job, right? So that's coffee. <laughs> you sound kind of funny. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, girls. Gotta go. I left the water running. <laughs> a spaghetti, a chocolate, a gorgonzola. <laughs> or ravioli. Uh. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girls. You're too young for me. Why don't you look me up in about five years? It's okay. We'll save. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry about the cafeteria. I just don't have any control over this thing. I'm not sorry. While every girl in the school was chasing you, Lorenzo asked me out on a date this afternoon. <sighs> Cindy? Yo, Cindy. Height and handsome, we'd like to borrow. At least until 12 o'clock tomorrow. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Mr. Tinker? May I be a <gasps> Yes, Tom? Excused early today. Well, you look like you're in a rush. Go! Oh. <laughs> That was close. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, me? I'm... Felix the Fireman. <laughs> Just checking out the fire extinguishers. Hmm, you don't look like a fireman. That's because I'm off duty. You're off duty, but you're still checking the fire extinguishers? I can't help myself. I'm a professional. If something were to happen to one of these children, I'd never be able to forgive myself. Oh, wow. The world could use more men like you. But you mustn't work too hard. We need our heroes fat and fit. Oh, don't worry. I take the afternoons off. Do manly things. Bowling and other sports. Ooh, bowling? Well, you're kidding. Today's my bowling day. You simply must join me. My way of saying thanks. <laughs> Be the shoes, they're um hurting my feet. I need to change them. <laughs> Check these out. <laughs> I knew all this magic wasn't good for my heart. This is all that stupid toad's fault. I heard that. What are you doing here? Uh, just making sure everything's going according to plan. According to plan? The spell is completely out of control! And what was all that stuff about the spell only lasting until 12? Ah, forgot to tell you. Uh, that's 12 midnight. Midnight? What am I supposed to do until then? Hmm, good question. Ah! Have your fingers always been that big? Not again! <laughs> Oh, I was getting worried. Oh, sorry. I wasn't feeling myself. Much better now. <laughs> Ready to roll. <laughs> Tom, I mean, Mr. Charming. <laughs> what a show off, this guy. <sighs> Mr. Charming? What's going on, Felix? <laughs> Who's, Who's the Felix? Felix? I can explain. Um, actually, no, I, I can't explain. Why would you lie to me about your name? <gasps> You're not a fireman, are you? Not exactly. Or at all. Is everything you've told me a lie? I didn't mean to lie. You really want to know the truth? Well, the truth is... Ah! Oh! I think we've heard enough truth for one day. What are you talking about? This guy is a big stinky faker, lying to a lady. He's the lowest of the low. Hey, don't be so mean. I think whatever his name is has been very honest with us. He's told us his name's not Felix or Bobby, and he's not a fireman. I just wish all guys could be so honest. 
Honesty, baby, you got it. I just pretended to be Italian so girls would think I'm dreamy. My real name's Dave, and I've never even been to Italy. Are you crazy? Uh, too much honesty? <laughs> uh, sorry, I gotta go. See ya. Ugh, girls will always be a mystery to me. Are you okay, Miss Tinker? Yes, I, I think so. Tom, why, what are you doing here? Me? I was just hoping to walk my sister home from her date. Oh, uh, what a little gentleman. Don't ever change. Oh, why do little boys have to grow up? Did you hear that? Bobby Sinclair's got nothing on me. I guess being a little kid is still better than being a big jerk. Speaking of jerks, where's Lorenzo? Don't you mean Dave? I dumped him. I realized I should only be chasing guys I like. wear off anyway. Not for hours. Why? Hey, what are we doing here? Ooh, uh -oh. 